Hi there and welcome back to my channel. We painters are detectives. We are always looking for lines, points, angles, anything that can help us achieve a better result in our paintings. There are three types of perspective. Linear perspective, where we look for horizontal, parallel and vertical lines. And we follow these lines and we use them as guidelines to construct our paintings. The second type of perspective is color perspective, where, for example, we can put warm colors in the foreground and cool colors in the background. This way we create a sense of depth and distance. The third type of perspective is atmospheric perspective where we try to merge the colors in the background into the sky, make the background and the sky combine together as if we are painting air or atmosphere. In today's video, I'm concentrating on linear perspective, the most powerful type of perspective when painting cityscapes. So let me show you some examples from my paintings. Let's do some detective work. This painting took me over a year to finish. It's over two meters wide, so you can imagine how complicated a scene like this can be. Well, here comes perspective. We as detectives, we need to find two lines going to the horizon. In this case, if you look here at this rooftop, if I draw a line with the correct angle of this rooftop, the line will reach this spot, the horizon. Now we need to find second line. This here, you see this rooftop? Let's follow this line. This line will reach here. So I will make this longer, that's it. Now the two lines are connected. This is called vanishing point. Now everything else is easy. If we want, for example, the correct angle of this rooftop here, so I will take another line from the same point, boom, and we have it. If we want the correct angle of the pavement here in the street, I will take another line from this point and boom, we nailed it. What about this here? If I want this angle of this rooftop, so another line here, boom, it's correct. In this painting, we have another vanishing point. If we connect a line here, this line will reach this spot. And then if I take another line, we will nail the correct angle of this rooftop. And if I take another line from here, we will nail the correct angle of the balcony. Let's see another painting. We are looking for two lines that are going to the horizon. So the easiest line that I can see is this thing here on this rooftop. So let's take a line. Let's follow this line to the horizon. Okay. Let me zoom in a little bit. You can see the line now. From here to here. I'm following the angle of this rooftop. So now, if I take the angle from this balcony, for example, follow the line of this balcony, we see that the line will reach this spot. So now, if I take one more time this line, and boom, this is the vanishing point. So we have two lines meeting in this point. Now everything else is easy. If we want the angle of this rooftop, all we need to do is to take a line from here and boom, we have it. If we want the angle of this rooftop here, so I'm taking another line from this point and boom, you see. Now, what about this one here, over the store? So I'm taking this line from the point, from the vanishing point, and we have the correct angle. This painting got another vanishing point, like the one before. 
you can notice that these buildings here have nothing to do with these lines because these buildings are reaching another different vanishing point. If I take a line, if I draw a line from this rooftop here, let's see where it goes. Let's make it here, you see? Okay, so now I need one more line. We always look for two lines. So where do we find one more line? What about this one here, this window? If we take the angle of this window, correct angle, they will meet here. So this is another vanishing point. If I take any line now from here, we will nail the correct angle of this balcony. If I take another line here, we will nail the correct angle of this balcony. What about here, this area? I can take another line and boom. If I want to zoom in one more time and we want the correct angle of this window here, you see this? So if I take another line from this point like this, boom, we have it. You see, you can't make mistakes. These lines will always nail it. Final example, this painting. In this painting, it's very easy to find lines going to the horizon. For example, if I take, you see this here, this rooftop, let's draw a line from this rooftop, follow the line, we have it. Now we need to find what about here, below the windows. This is another easy line. So let's follow this line. And we have, they met here. So now if I take, if I want the angle of this here, so boom. If we want the angle, what about this angle of this here? So if I take a line from the same point, boom. What about this here? This thing here over the store. I take line and boom. You see the correct angle all the time. One more from here. Boom. So easy. Now there is another vanishing point here. I can see it clearly because this line here, you see, if I zoom in, this line of this rooftop is different. So we can see that there is more than one vanishing point. Let's take another line here and follow this rooftop. It will go here. Then what about here from the line of the windows? And they met here. So now I can take from here the correct angle of the base of the balcony. And from here, the correct angle of this pavement, you see? The buildings where they start. So, it's very easy. You need to always trust linear perspective while painting cityscape paintings. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.